Light pollution is an issue that is happening in more than 99% of Earth's inhabitants. The intensity of LEDs is so high, so it has increased lighting pollution. We need to find uh, alternative solutions that are both uh, more respectful from the environment and also offer a new energy sobriety. We use a reaction called bioluminescence, which is the ability that have a lot of organisms in nature to produce light, like fireflies or glowworms, but also 80% of marine organisms. So we use this chemical reaction to produce a biological source of light. I was fascinated by the fact that it's so simple, it exists in nature, it works pretty well, so why not just translate that into uh, products? In the sea is something that is very common, it's not extraordinary. And so you have to understand that if it's common, it means that it's efficient. And behind us, we have 3.8 billion years of research and development through evolution in nature to really find those efficient solutions like bioluminescence. So the first goal behind GLOWY is really to use a growing and unlimitedly growing raw material to replace these lighting systems. Our job today is to identify the best bacteria that are able to produce the best bioluminescence. Once we have them, we work with them in labs, we engineer them to make them more efficient in terms of intensity, in terms of stability over time, in terms of uh, temperature resilience. And when we have that, we can grow those bacteria, mix them with a nutritive medium, and then find the best conditions for them to grow. The type of water is the one first variable, the temperature is also important, uh, the way we uh, feed them is very important. But the reaction of biomesis needs oxygen to produce light. When you switch on the oxygen again, then the light switch on. The overall goal of playing with the uh, different settings is first uh, improving intensity, uh, second in improving stability over time to make the bacteria light as long as possible, to make them be fed as less as possible to really uh, improve in terms of cost efficiency. Our goal is to go outdoors so we need bacteria to resist at less than 15 degrees and more than 30 degrees to cover uh, the more geography as possible. Once we have all the recipes, we can put this raw material into different shapes to make lighting systems happen. Today we don't really face nature in our daily lives as, as citizens living in cities. And this connection that humans have to nature is just essential for the well-being. We figure out that this light, it is very hypnotic, uh, it's very soothing, and so um, it really brings a well-being feeling. So we've designed uh, the Glosen Room, which is a, a biophilic experience of bioluminescence. The goal is to really fully relax, to reconnect to nature. So when you look at this self-light, you can look at it without getting your eyes tired, which is something that is very unique because it never happens with electrical lighting. As you're in darkness and your eyes get used to darkness progressively, then your brain focuses on little details that you see. And those little details are very simple things. Flowers, uh, leaves, a tree. When your brain thinks about all these simple things, you just don't think about what you forgot to do yesterday. Using a biological material to produce light changed all the value chain of lighting, from producing it because we can grow light, uh, to using it because it's not a, a bulb, an object like a bulb, but you can really play with the raw material. It can take a lot of shapes. It can also really change the way building looks like, the way signage looks like, to really give more uh, design possibilities to it. So we're going to start by urban furniture, signage, but the more the time is going, the more we think that we can really rethink the whole way we light our cities. So they, tomorrow maybe there's been no lampposts, but just different ways of lighting the areas because it's going to be more pedestrian, because there's going to be less cars. The interesting thing is that light won't be like a one-shot use. 
when there is a, a problem or no more bacteria or no more light. You can just restart a little culture of bacteria and then a few hours later you will have the system working again. In the societies where we live in, we cannot just switch off all the lights. It can be used just to illuminate for security purposes, uh, to enhance something, to give visibility. We need to find the best energy sources at the best place so that we create this mix of energy to really have positive effects. It's really interesting in terms of how to think the cities of tomorrow.